How you doing? So I'm working on a project and this isn't vacuuming really well. It sounds like it's straining. I mean, I, I know my shop vac. How's that sound for weird? But I'd, this is one of those things where it's like Eric fixing something. Let's figure out why this shop vac isn't vacuuming. A lot of times that clogs up or because this has a bend in it that clogs up but that doesn't seem to be the problem here there's a filter in here and these can be hard to open so sometimes you need a screwdriver that didn't make a hump that's not uh, let me try the other side oh that was a little easier by the way make sure it's unplugged before you do this you know, you can kind of tell sometimes when your shop vac is making an unhappy sound. Oh. Well, that could be part of it. These filters, it's really easy. We just take this off. Do this over the vacuum, not over your floor. Trash can, lift up the lid. Close the lid as best you can. If there's nothing toxic, you can just take this outside and hit it as well. Um, I found something that points to a bigger problem here, and this is that kind of aha moment that I love. But if you look at this filter, um, there, can you see that? Let me see if you can see that. Do you see those holes? You see the light coming through? Red flag. There's a latch right here. Push that in, lift this up. Don't lose these, okay? Um, if you're dealing with mice and mouse poop, just put these on, okay? Hmm. No mouse nest. So this has foam. And then there's a bunch of fine material here. And what I thought was that that was the outer edge of a nest inside here. I think what's really happening here is those holes in the paper are letting material through to the vacuum motor and this filter is catching it. So this is a secondary filter, the oops filter. Oops, it got past the first filter. Let's clean this out and get far this puppy up. So lift that up gently, don't tear it, don't force it, because otherwise you're gonna have to buy a new one of these rings. I think we should buy a new one anyway, this is kind of brittle. Yeah, look at that. This is why you save those toothbrushes. I mean, I'm all about, hey, let's try this and see what happens. And I, as soon as I saw that, I thought mouse nest, red flag, warning, danger. But this is the, this is the, I mean, yeah, that one filter was really clogged, but then this makes it even worse because you, you've gone through the paper filter and then you hit this. This is my sacrificial vacuum. It was like 50 bucks. I beat the heck out of it and it's perfect for when you don't really, okay, it might break or whatever, but this is perfect for, I mean, shop vacs are clunky, they're hard to move around. If you if you got a little thing you gotta work on, you can carry this up a ladder and it's perfect for this. What is that, huh? It's a vacuum, yeah. Who is this? When you first turn on your vac after cleaning the filter, the exhaust port pointed outdoors somewhere, okay? Learn from me.